Hi, it's Paul Mondo from Production Expert. Pro Tools Ultimate users have had the option of using clip-based effects for quite some time now. These clip effects, as the name suggests, operate on individual clips and essentially provide a similar set of tools to the Avid Channel Strip plugin, namely EQ, Filters and Dynamics Processing. Since Pro Tools 2022.4 though, clip effects have been available to a wider user base because they're now also included in Pro Tools Studio. Clip effects have some benefits over real-time plugins in that the processing stays with the clip, so if you move, copy or paste the clip, the settings will still be applied to it. Clip effects are real-time and non-destructive, so you can easily go in and tweak the settings whenever you need to. It's about delivering our promises and saying what you say you're going to do. Um, it's about really... The clip effects window can be displayed at the top of the edit window using the keyboard shortcut option 6, or you can click over here. You can toggle this view between clip effects and the universe window. To apply clip effects, select one or more clip on your timeline and make adjustments in the window at the top. Available settings include input trim, polarity, a four band EQ, two filters, each of which can be switched to either high pass, low pass, band pass or notch. And finally, a dynamic section which includes compression and gating. I find clip effects very useful when working on dialogue because it allows me to quickly apply corrective EQ clip by clip without having to automate a real-time plugin. Whilst it's obviously nowhere near as in-depth as what you could achieve with some of the popular EQ plugins such as the FabFilter Pro Q3, it's nevertheless good enough for simple adjustments and the filtering is very convenient. By default, the EQ graph shows a range of minus 12 to plus 12 dB, but this can be doubled by clicking on the resolution toggle button here. I'll just mention quickly that the input trim offers up to 36 dB of boost or cut, but personally I prefer to do this with clip gain because the effect is shown in the audio waveform. The dynamic section is something you'll probably use a bit less often. I very rarely use the gate, but I do on occasions use the compressor. One slight downside to the dynamics is that neither the compressor or gate indicate the amount of gain reduction being applied. There's no meter for it. Still, where you have one or two pieces of overly dynamic dialogue on a track, it can be useful to have the option of applying compression to select clips rather than having to automate a plugin or move those clips to their own track with their own compressor applied. You'll note that once clip effects are applied, the clip will display small icons to indicate the type of processing applied. On this clip, I've applied a polarity inversion, EQ and dynamics processing in clip effects. To show or hide this display, go to the view menu Clip, Clip Effects Status. If you want to copy and paste clip effects between clips, it's really easy. Just select the clip you want to copy from, hold down Control Option Command and press C. Now select the clip to paste the settings to and just press V. This is quite quick, but you might want to also use the five clip effects presets. To save a setting to any of these, Command click on the number. It flashes blue three times, indicating that we've saved the setting. And so now, whenever we select a clip, and click on that number, those saved settings will be recalled to that clip. You can actually select multiple clips when making any adjustments in this window and they'll be applied to all of them. The 1 to 5 buttons are quick, but you still have to have the clip effects window open, move your cursor up to the top and then click the button to recall the settings. There's an even easier and quicker way to recall those settings though, and that's with the 1 to 5 keys at the top of your keyboard. To enable this, you need to go into Preferences, and under the editing tab, change the 1 to 5 number keys control settings from zoom presets to clip effects presets. From now on, numbers 1 to 5 on your keyboard will recall those clip effects presets. This has to be the numbers at the top of the keyboard rather than on the numpad because they're assigned to other things. Well, that's a quick overview of Pro Tools clip effects. For more information on this and other useful Pro Tools features, keep an eye on the Production Expert blog. Thanks for watching.